Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you my June favourites, which is all the favourite things I've been using for the whole of June. If you're ever wondering in my videos what that um, stair thing is doing, ladders at the back there, it's just because um, I have such a small house that I do have to keep quite a lot of stuff in my shed and my attic, and um, the attic is just up in my room, and so I have to have easy access to it. Not me personally, of course. I get Mr. Man to go up in the attic and get what I need or put what I need, bless his heart. So um, that's what that's all about. And I've got quite a lot of stuff to show you again this month, and I've got some, some cool beauty stuff and also some maybe boring stuff, but it's deserves a place because I love it, it's in my favourites and it's used regularly so if you'd like to see my June favourites please keep watching. So let's start with the good stuff. Now um, if anybody wants a full review on just this individual product then please let me know in the comments box and I'll do that for you. I haven't done it because I've mentioned it um, in tutorials and I'm mentioning it as well in favourites so I thought um, I might, might be a bit repetitive but if anyone wants a, a more in-depth review please feel free to ask. Um, it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Um, I love this palette. Um, it smells lovely, the packaging's nice, the uh, shadows are buttery, pigmented, smooth, not too soft, um, they don't have a lot of fallout. Um, it's just a really lovely palette, the colours are just beautiful. Um, you've got so many different variations of looks that you can do with it. Um, I've actually used it today. This is more dramatic than I would usually do for a um, daytime look, um, but my Mr. Man really, really likes um, quite a smoky eye, and so um, I was trying this out, um, and I could ask him what he thinks, and then do it if we have a date night coming up. So, um, yes, the uh, Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette is really, really nice. It comes in this lovely box, and I've been using it a lot. Um, I generally try and avoid using salted caramel, semi-sweet and milk chocolate because they're the mattes ones in here that are in every single tutorial I've ever seen using this palette and I'm just worried I'll end up wearing those down if I use them too much and then won't be able to use it evenly and take it away for travel and have everything in one place so I try and sort of use the ones that I think will be least used overall on a more regular basis um, but this one um, has been used more than any other eyeshadow during the month of June. In June I've been using this Little Angels Hypoallergenic, hypoallergenic uh, Leave Skin Soft and Smooth Dermologically Tested Light or Mist for Silky Soft Skin. Now this is from Asda and um, I think in America it's sort of the equivalent of Walmart because I think Walmart bought Asda now and it's now called Asda Walmart and it won't be long before it's just called Walmart I think. Um, but this uh, Little Angels set spray is really really good. I bought it originally for my daughter um, just to spray on her legs so I don't have to keep her still for loop too long trying to massage in lotion and, and that. But um, actually what I do is if I'm going to shave my legs and put my body butter on or I then I then put it on the next day before work because I don't really like wearing tights and obviously it's nice weather now anyway and I spray that on my legs it gives your legs a lovely healthy sheen um, and um, it, give, it keeps them nice and moisturized uh, throughout the day so I really like that um, it's really inexpensive as well it's just a few pounds not not much at all and um, the scent Oh, it just smells, I've got to be honest, it smells like babies. Some people don't like that. I can't remember who it was I was watching recently who said um, that something had like a, a baby talc or a baby lotion smell and it wasn't their cup of tea at all. I think it might have been Fleur, um, Fleur de Force, but um, it is my cup of tea. I love it. I love the smell of babies. And so um, it's really nice and it's really inoffensive. It doesn't sort of interfere with any other scent I might have going on if I'm going to spritz on some perfume or anything. And it's only on your legs, so... I've been using that. I wouldn't use it with fake tan or after fake tan rather because oily things can tend to break your fake tan down. Something to bear in mind if you are fake tanning your legs but I've been using that a lot in June. I'm also going to talk about sunscreen now. It's really really important even here in, in the, the north and northern England where it's cold and overcast for a lot of the time. Um, but sunscreen is still very important especially if you have little ones so there's the transparent sun spray. I think I mentioned this in a recent video but I couldn't find it so I only showed the Nivea one. This one is just as good as the Nivea one I bought last year um, and it's clear protect. It doesn't send anything yellow or stained clothes that I've noticed. haven't used it particular, particularly great amount with white things so 
be careful but um, from what I've used it's not stained and um, I apply it hourly to me and my daughter if we're out in the sun and um, it protects us against aging and sunburn and the scent is lovely it's a lovely summery sunscreen scent that that smells just beautiful to me I went on holiday to Spain a lot as a as a young teen late childhood sort of time with my dad and my brothers and my um, family and we just had such a great time all the time and this smell just takes me right back there so I really really love this product. Next up I have a foot product and um, I know a lot of people find it important in summer to get their feet in check. I keep my feet in check all year round. It's just what I do. I don't suppose I don't really need to but uh, I wear boots a lot in the winter with it being so cold but I do like um, to keep my feet nice. I actually I like feet and I like my feet so um, Avon Footworks Vanilla Brown Sugar Moisturising Foot Cream. Now this does smell of vanilla and brown sugar. It's really nice. This is actually my second tube. I haven't bought any myself. It was a gift. I think one of my sister-in-laws or both sister-in-laws put a hamper for me together and um, they do it sort of they did it when I was pregnant and they they did it for one Christmas I, I love it when they do it because they have such good taste and this um, is one that they got for me and I have really really been enjoying it it's been keeping my feet nice and silky smooth I use it when I'm in bed so I don't tend to put socks on over the top I just put it in bed when I know I'm not going to need to really get up and it sinks in overnight so really like that. Now I will apologize for having this item in my June favorites which is the 17 all about nudes uh, summer palette because I don't know if you can buy it anymore. I don't even think I paid for it. I think it might have come free when I did some um, shopping in boots at the 17 line uh, quite a few years ago. But I found this out. It's broken, so I've sellotaped it because it's really battered and, and well loved. And as you can see, I've hit pan on both the cream blusher and the lip stick slash lip gloss uh, palette. But these two shadows here are absolutely beautiful. I'm going to swatch them for you. You've got like a, a pink. You've got a pink that's like a gold pink. I can never get the lighting for my swatches. You've got a pink that's like a gold pink. And then you've got a really beautiful bronzy sort of brown colour with almost khaki undertones. So um, I really like this palette. I've been putting the pink colour all in my, on my eyelid and I've been using it's just a really sim simple straightforward look and just using the brown khaki colour through my crease and, and under my under lash line and I've even managed to pull that look off in enough time um, on my days that I go to work so quick and easy look and I can use I've used the cream blush um, regularly for work and when you layer it with a powder blush over the top I was really surprised to find it lasted all day the other day I, I realized I'd had my makeup on for 12 hours at the end of the day and the only thing that was still holding up was this combination of this cream blush from this palette plus um, a powder blush over the top and it still looked just as nice as the time I'd done it in the morning so I uh, really really like that palette. Now I don't often uh, mention moisturisers in regards to really liking them. I can to be honest use anything because I don't have any problems with my skin, I don't really suffer breakouts, uh, very rarely don't suffer dryness, anything like that um, and uh, I've put in my empties recently a uh, moisturiser which I've finished and I you know I wasn't thrilled with it so it's not very rare it's actually two moisturizers and I weren't thrilled with them it's, it is quite rare that I find something I actually like um, this Nivea pure and natural anti-wrinkle day cream I've been using this all month and I really really love it um, it's really the scent is very clean smelling and um, it leaves my skin really soft and smooth and I feel like it leaves a lovely glow to it um, I feel like it great, it works great um, underneath makeup and then I don't have to wait too long for applying my makeup after I've applied this. Uh, I'm really getting on with it and um, I'll probably mention it in an up and coming empties and I'll definitely be repurchasing that. On the subject of skincare, I, I feel it's only fair to, to get this one in because I wanted to put it in last month and I didn't feel I had room and I felt guilty because it does deserve it as though it has feelings. But um, I've got the Tea Tree 100% Essential Oil from Superdrug. Again, very, very inexpensive. Um, less than £5, could be less than £3 really, to be honest. I can't really remember, but I tend to wait till it's on sale for three for two and just stock up on them um, because I'm always using this. I have one in my manicure bag, um, which I can use just on my feet so I don't mix, you know, the two. And then I have one in my... Um, 
bathroom cabinet which I use for uh, facial skincare. Now I know they do sell a diluted version which you're supposed to use when you're dabbing straight onto spots and I know you can buy different spot action treatments for when you've got a blemish in a pen form and things like that and I got a free one with e.l.f. actually and I tried it and I realized again just how brilliant this actually is so I always use this it's a to me it's a cult classic and it's just 100% oil now if my spot feel if I get a spot and it feels like it really does need some help then I'll cleanse my face and put this straight on before moisturizing and that way when I'm putting my moisturizer on it's moving it around as well and distribute it and diffusing it and getting it as a light coating almost as you would if you were using like a tea tree oil um, moisturizer um, and but if it doesn't need much help I'll put my moisturizer on and then just sort of dab a little bit on for some people it might burn and I'm not advising you to put it straight on your face because I know that you're not really supposed to do that but I do and it works great for me and I fi find I do often get um, compliments on the fact that my skin I've had somebody once say to me oh your skin doesn't look much different whether you're wearing foundation or not now that was years ago so I'm sure that's not true now um, but I think one of the things that's really helped me keep a nice skin is the tea tree oil so highly recommend I've got that. two lip products to mention for June the first one is um, a line that I recently bought which I'd heard good things about and I've never tried any of their lipsticks and that's the color sensational by Maybelline these are so good that I actually wish I'd bought less lip butters and bought more of these um, with my money that I'd allocated for lip products because even though I love, love, love my Revlon lip butters, uh, these are brilliant. I mean, they're not moisturising like the lip butters. They are a lipstick, a true, proper, pigmented lipstick. But the scent is so beautiful. It's like vanilla. It's, it's a vanilla scent. It takes everything in me not to lick it. It's just so nice. Um, this one I've got is Coral Tonic, and I've been wearing. Oh, swatch on the other hand. I've been wearing this a lot of June, so I'll just swatch that for you. The colour for me is very, very summery, um, and really I feel suits my skin tones. Um, so that's that one. And the other one is more of an orangey colour. It's like an orangey peach, um, slightly muted sort of orange. It's called Nectar and it's MUA. Um, so it's really, really cheap. I uh, got it in three for two, so I actually got three MUA colours for two pounds, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, they are quite oily and they don't tend to, tend to stay where they're put. Um, but actually I have a purple one that stains my lips. So I think the darker you go actually, you know, you'd be even better for this. But I've been using this Nectar colour for a lot of the summer, for all for June. And I'm getting on really, really well with that. It looks really great with bronzy, goldy sort of eye colours. Another June favourite is my Imperial Leather Sensitive Soap. Now I've never seen anyone mention soap in a favourites before or a beauty channel on, on YouTube. And um, I'm sorry if it's really, really boring to some, but um, I've got I've got to tell people about this soap. I suffered really bad um, a contact dermatitis, I call it, on my hand. It's never been had an official sort of name given by the doctor. It, it, they've always sort of said to me, "Oh, you're having some localized allergic reaction to something." We don't know what it is. Now, I've worked on my, out on my own. It's from touching metal door handles, which I cannot help, especially at work. Um, I've painted my door handles at home with um, nail, clear nail varnish um, and uh, it, I think this is work related so um, I can't touch any metals that aren't gold and silver and platinum um, so yeah royalty hands <laughs> and um, tried to I've got these sort of blisters on there and this this soap is fantastic it never irritates me it really helps to calm things down I use it for so much I use it on my daughter who's two and it doesn't react on her I use it right do excuse me if it's TMI but I use this for shaving under my arms um, it works better for me than any shaving gel I've ever used so I really really love that and I get through loads of it I mean I, I tend to just get you know it's very soft it doesn't go hard uh, like some do um, and it doesn't like some sort of oily based ones like Dove that came to be very moisturizing it doesn't leave sort of a horrible I don't feel they clean me properly and I also feel it leaves like a residue these don't so I really really love um, Imperial Leather Gentle Care mild for sensitive skin now this month I've um, been doing a different beauty trick that I've heard so much about in the past and I just didn't want to do it because it just seemed like such a pain in the bum so I didn't do it and I've bitten the bullet and done it and it actually works so I've had really terrible problems with my nails peeling um, I've tried everything OPI Nail Envy, Nail Ink, Sally Hansen 
Um, I've got these really expensive French things from my uh, late nan. So loads of loads of stuff uh, tried and not able to achieve the stopping of the peeling on on these nails. But I used to uh, file back and forth, and I thought, oh, no, I'm only supposed to file one way. But I just I just want to get it done. It's really irritating. I don't want to stand there and go. Chew, chew, chew. Really bothers me. But this month I've made a concerted effort. Um, to only file one way and they have gone so hard the, the splitting and peeling has, has reduced to almost completely gone and um, I find that where it, the hot, whereas the peeling has happened in the before and from the middle of the nail downwards have become sensitised all of that has had the opportunity to grow out so they still look short because I've been keeping them short to try and get the condition tip top um, but it has made such such a difference and I'm going to promise myself never to file my nails back and forth ever again and I'll really really try and keep to that because I really swear by just filing your nails in one so direction. Last in my June favourites is a Glade candle um, I've completely used it up so um, I'm not going to mention it in the next empties because I'm going to mention it here instead um, but this has been a massive favourite. I've been using this alongside my vanilla and coconut Primark candle that I mentioned in my May favourites. I've been using this one all of June as well. I bought it in the festive line, so it's probably the one of the only candles I've bought from that line that's appropriate for this time of year. I think it's chocolate and vanilla or something. It doesn't say it on there, um, but it's like a, a sweetie dessert sort of smell. Um, and I really, really love this. I'm going to empty it, try and empty it out and get the wick out and maybe use that for my makeup brushes. So that's all of my favourites for June. I really enjoyed filming this for you. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And uh, please give me a thumbs up if you did. And I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel um, so that you're alerted for my future videos. And just because it gives me more subscribers. And I need more subscribers. So um, I uh, really appreciate your time. And I look forward to seeing you in future. Or you seeing me rather. And doing more videos for you. Take care everyone. Bye.